Hey y'all, in this uh, video I want to talk about break-even stops, the employment of break-even stops, and why I think that you should use them as an intraday scalper. Um, there are going to be times, like Michael talked about, that you want, you're going to want to not trail your stop up and leave on big runners. I will tell you, generally speaking, that has not worked for me. Um, I will tell you that overall, my first attempt at catching something usually doesn't work, and neither does the second or the third. But somewhere around the fourth or fifth time that my idea starts to play out. So anyways, um, what is a break-even stop? Well, when you're positioned, generally speaking, every time that you enter at the market, you're going to be off. You're going to, you're going to be in drawdown immediately. Uh, it has not been my, I have not had the ability yet to enter perfectly at the right time. So I, almost, I expect pretty much every position to, to go against me by some measure before it goes back into profit. So what is a break-even stop? It's a stop that is anywhere from zero ticks where your current position is up to six ticks or one and a half points is how I would define it. And then trailing up from there, it's not really a, not really a break-even anymore. At that point, it's just a profitable trade. Why do I use pretty aggressive break-even stops? Well, I only have a $3,000 daily loss limit. So I really cannot afford that much drawdown, not on a full-size NASDAQ. This thing can move against me a lot very quickly. So if I had $150,000 and I could trade my own money, uh, I, I probably wouldn't be as aggressive with the break-even stops. But because I have a daily loss limit and I have to manage the account very tight, uh, that is why you will see me uh, take you know, a lot of these, you might think these are all individual trade ideas, and they're really not, guys. I'll tell you what the idea is tonight. We have a new day opening gap sitting like 30, 40 points above price, and I'm expecting us to draw back up into it. Uh, but how long price wants to take before it gets back to that new day opening gap, I don't know. So essentially, guys, I've only been taking longs because I do expect that we're going to draw higher. We're going to draw up to, to 925 and then up to 939. Uh, but when exactly it wants to do that, I don't know. Could be London, could be tomorrow during New York. I don't know. Um, probably in the overnight session, but could it, you know it could take all the way till tomorrow during the New York session. And the reason why I use so many break-even stops is, well, it's basically just money management, guys. Um, if you learn to take break even a lot so one point to one and a half points so four ticks to six ticks pretty quickly after your position goes into profit you will slowly very slowly start grinding up your accounts okay and you're just grinding up a work day and every once in a while it's going to run to your target and it's it's going to get there so basically you're you're if you're scalping you're shooting a lot of shots and most of them are going to either miss or they're going to kind of barely be in profit between four ticks to six ticks which i i i consider up to six ticks to be uh, one and a half points or six ticks to be break even okay so anything above that seven ticks and above at that point i consider that to be actually a profitable scalp so Anywhere from zero ticks to six ticks is going to be break even. And I expect that most of my trades, like the vast majority, are going to be anywhere from a zero tick to a six tick profit, uh, with some trades going further than that and some trades being losses. But basically, guys, this will keep you in the game longer. It will keep, um, it will keep your account alive. You will, you will grind up profits over time. Um, and then you'll, you'll, uh, allow the market you know basically to work against you and then you can get back in and as, as long guys as you're staying with the same idea so like for example i'm only taking longs right now with the new day opening gap sitting sitting above price that big inefficiency sitting up there i'm i'm really not interested in shorting this market no matter how much it, it want you know wants to make you think that it's coming back down it's gonna you know more likely than not it's gonna go fill in that new day opening gap at some point today or in the overnight session or during the regular trading hour session, it's going to go back up there because uh, there's a big hole in the chart. So, you know, whenever it wants to do that, I don't know. But um, that for until we get up there to fill in that new day opening gap, there's no way I'm taking shorts. So it was basically just waiting for every long opportunity that I can see on the chart. And then pretty quickly, guys, I'm pretty aggressive with the break-even stops. And I do get stopped out a lot. Uh, 
But I'm fine with that, guys. I'm just grinding up the account. I'm staying at that break-even principle, meaning um, I'm scalping, guys. I'm shooting a lot of shots, and I, because I know that I'm high-frequency trading, I know that most of my trades are not going to work out. They're not going to make it all the way up to the target, but that's okay as long as I'm using a lot of break-even, so zero to six ticks, then I don't really need a whole lot of trades to make it up to the target to grind out a profit. Um, I just have to refine my entries, and over time we'll, we, we grind up a, a profit. So, for example, I was down 600 on the session today, and I've worked it back up to 402 without a single trade really going to target. Uh, I mean, a couple of trades did, but, but basically, like, very few. So anyways, guys, this is a discussion on break-even stops, stops that you employ once the market moves in your favor, anywhere from zero, zero ticks to six ticks, I would consider to be a break-even stop. Anything above that is, is a profitable trade. Um, I would recommend using them pretty aggressively, especially on a funded account in which you have a daily loss limit, like a top step. Um, I would be using these break-even stops pretty aggressively. Get very comfortable with the market coming back and knocking you out. Uh, you can always re-enter instantly, guys. So it's not really that big of a deal. And, and that's it. I would use break-even stops pretty aggressively. I know I do, and my recommendation to you is, um, especially with the NASDAQ that can pop down 10, 20 points in like two seconds, I'd recommend uh, employing those break-even stops pretty aggressively. That's what I'm going to do, and I recommend to you the same. Bye-bye.